What's up, YouTube? What's new? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 36 of our Pokemon Let's Go playthrough. In the last episode, we took on Sabrina in a very, very cool gym to earn our sixth gym badge in our uh, Deja Vu of Kanto. In today's episode, we're making our way towards Cinnabar Island while checking for shinies in Pokemon Go. So if you're enjoying Let's Go, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. All that stuff. Let's get to it. <clears throat> As I put our Pokeball Plus on. Now... In the last couple episodes I've been talking about, I was unsure of what I wanted to do next. I wanted to make sure I did it in order. Um, and so I, I took a peek. Like, I, I tried not to look at anything. I tried to look at the levels for the last two gyms. And what I'm honestly going to try and do is I'm going to try and go a little quickly through actually defeating the gyms. I think. Actually, I think that's not what I decided to do. I think, ooh, Chansey. I think what I decided to do, actually, was I think we're going to do some battles. Uh, hold on. First thing I want to do is stop in here, and then we'll and then we'll talk about what we're doing. Because I saw something. Hey there, Domino. Hope you're getting along with your partner. Come back and see me once you're best friends with Jet. Oh, oh, oh you're Jet. I can see it's just best friends with you. This this is the ultimate bond between a Pokemon and a trainer. Thank you for showing me an amazing thing. Take this as a thanks. I can't leave my, let me and my Pokemon fall behind, can I? Yep, you saw it. We just got Evolution sets for Jet. Wait, 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 wait. Sister so Jet. Hats. Oh, you know which one we're putting on. Put on that Umbreon hat. <clears throat> And put on that Umbreon t-shirt. If I switch to me, I don't think I have like an... Oh, it's done. Oh, we're done. Oh, it's over. It's over now. Oh, it's over now. I wasn't going to change my clothes again. I'm changed. Oh my god. The only thing that would make this better is if I could do... The only thing that would make this better is if I could do like the shiny variant. Oh, I'm, I'm straight up balling out here. Okay, I don't think I'm changing clothes again. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make our way towards Cinnabar. And to do so, let's take flight. Wait, no, stop. Let's take flight. We're going to go back to Pallet Town for the first time in a long time. And what we're going to do is we're going to start in Pallet Town. We're going to go down to Cinnabar. And then we're going to battle all the trainers up to Fuchsia. And then we're going to go back and we're going to take on Blaine. Then we're going to take on whoever our 8th gym leader is. I'm imagining it's the same Giovanni. After that, before we go this way, we're going to go to uh, catch our catch the Pokemon that's in the power plant. And then we're going to catch the Pokemon that's in Seafoam Islands. And then we're going to go to the, the end. So that's the plan for the rest of the, at least the original episode. <coughs> Per usual, I just ate before uh, before I recorded this, so I'm gonna have to clear my throat for the next 10 hours. Mom, I haven't been home in forever. Looks like you're having fun on your journey. I okay, bye. <laughs> that was interesting. What does Oak have to say? Surely Oak is gonna be like, my boy, Domino, I haven't seen you in so long. Good to see you. How is your Pokedex coming along? Here, let me take a look. <clears throat> Turning into quite the respectable Pokedex. Yes! Alright. Now, long-term plan. Because I'm hoping that by my time in two days... I said I was battling all these trainers, right? Well, look at that star you. I don't have a star you yet. I haven't caught a Pokemon in a series or in an episode in a minute. Let's do some catching right now. That's what I'm talking about. Counter a wild star you. I really don't want to use a, an Ultra Ball on a star you. Is that too hard to. Okay, I literally tossed it to the left. And that one went over its head. 
And that one didn't go far enough. And that one, it went to the right place, but then it moved. And that one went the same place the last one did, even though I threw it completely differently. And that one he hit. Hey, there we go. That only took six tries, quite literally. I think that took six tries. A little wild. If we could not do that, that'd be great. My gosh, I haven't seen these screens in like... Have I caught any Pokemon yet today? I don't think so. I don't think I did. Who do we have leading the way? Brit? Brit's about to leave us, so I'm gonna let Brit continue to lead. Wanna well, know if the fish are biting? Yeah, tell me, are the fish biting? I think these trainers have decently high levels. I think it's just like what we saw in... Yeah, 42, that's not bad. Of course, now I have... Before this episode, I had to play with Jet a little... Oh gosh, okay, hold on. <laughs> Before this episode, I had to play with Jet a bit so that I... So I'd be able to get the Umbreon set. Because apparently I hadn't gone all the way to best friend or whatever. A Gyarados. Okay, we're switching. Valkyrian, this is all for you. Now, our levels admittedly might be high enough for us to finish the eight gems right now. So. But we do have one more Pokemon to add, which I want to do today. I want to do it in this episode. I want to get our last member. And then I'll train him up in between episodes. Why does it do that? GPS signal not found. That's... Give me this item. Give me this item and then battle me, fool. Battle me, fool! I got a big haul. Wanna go for it? I don't know what that means. I physically, like, I don't know what you're telling me. Oh my gosh, you have all magic carps. Oh, it's this guy. There's always one of them in every region. Even in Unova, when there wasn't. Even in Unova, where there was no. Magikarp, I think. Can I please get a shiny during this event, by the way? In Pogo? I, I haven't found a shiny in a while. Ever since the Pokemon Go... Ever since Community Day, which I found 17 shinies. Let's just talk about that for a minute. But since then, I haven't gotten anything. Only thing I've gotten is a warning that I'm cheating. All thanks to stupid Poke Pokeball Plus. Oh, this is wild. <clears throat> you know, when they put this in, they were not thinking about content creators. They weren't. There's no way they were. Because this is just painful. It's just one after another. Valkyrian gross level 50 is our second level 50. I wonder what level the new Pokemon that we're getting is going to be. And you know, I have this thing. Because of the company that I work for, I like to be very secretive. Uh, and not spoil things until it happens. But we've, we've literally had this Pokemon with us since we started the game. Or not since we started. Pretty close to when we got like half of our team. <laughs> Pretty close to when we got Chansey and Onyx and G uh who else did we get? Golbat. We've had this Pokemon with us. And now we're going to Cinnabar where we're finally gonna be able to use it. Pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. I need him to not be a deficient de 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 
What is the word? It's not beneficial. What's the opposite of beneficial? Detrimental. I think it's I think the actual opposite is detrimental. I think the actual opposite word is detrimental. We battled. Oh, we did not battle you. What do you want? <clears throat> hey, you. Are you going to Cinnabar Island by any chance? I'm bored. Is it okay if I coach you a bit? My Pokemon will be super serious. All right, coach me. Coach me. Show me what you got, Pam. My choke. Is your Machoke going to use Brick Break? Actually, I don't know what it's going to use. It because typically these things give me like a TM. I'm going to assume you're not going to do anything to me. Ice Punch. I knew someone was going to have Ice Punch. Uh, I'm going to Hyper Potion up. <clears throat> I don't know how many trainers are on this route. I feel like there used to not be a ton. I feel like there's a lot going from Cinnabar up to Fuchsia, but we'll do that in the next episode. Poison, poison! No! And my X scissor. This will take out this Machoke. And then we're gonna start going for some super effective stuff. I just don't like to switch. That's a whole waste of a turn. Whole waste of a turn. Jinx? Could stay in, actually. Because I believe X Scissor will do just fine. He got Goja. Gone. Get him out. We literally just had this. He has just practiced. He is fresh off practicing. Kangaskhan. I'm upset that Jet hasn't grown. You know, we're going into Jet. I'm upset that Jet hasn't grown a level. Look at this Umbreon set. Out here looking like Umbreon. We're level 45. That's not bad. Well, that did not do a lot of damage, did it? Oh. No, okay. Let me use ba Bouncy Bubble. Get some of my health back. Oh, don't, 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 don't. No, you did it, you jerk. All right, well, it's this is Eevee. This is Eevee we're talking about. This is my Eevee we're talking about. Yeah, my Eevee does not get confused. That's a different life for a different Eevee, for a lesser Eevee. Eevee is wearing the perfect outfit. And speaking of growing to level 50, that did not take long. So wait, what was it? What were you teaching me? You're teaching me Ice Punch? What was the last Pokemon you just had? Kangaskhan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You know, I've only meant to click play with Jet like twice in this entire series, but I've clicked on it probably more than any other button on that menu. Alright, let's continue. Unless we want to find like a golden... A little golden boy. Hey, who said something? He said, what's wrong with me swimming? Who said something was wrong with you swimming? Martin, you okay? Radigate! Radigate! In my head, that sounded a lot like the Radicate sounded more accurate in my head. I think I've gotten hit by Sucker Punch more than any other move in the game. There was the episodes in the Pokemon Tower where I definitely got hit with it 15 times. 
Oh, and Onyx, you know, we added this specifically for this. Specifically for this situation. We added in Onyx. Or we added in Bouncy Bubble. Be gone, fool! Because Onyx gave us some freaking trouble. I mean, some freaking trouble. <gasps> Excuse me. Alright, let's see what else we got. We got a... We got a swimming boy. The sea cleanses my body and soul. That's a... An interesting thing to say. Interesting thing to say, gentlemen. Alright, can you handle this seal? With a single poison jab? Ice Shard! Okay, I didn't know we were actually, like, trying to play for real here. You got priority and everything? My guy? You out here... You out here trying? I could use Brick Break. I think this is super effective, actually. It's not. Sealed just water type, and Dugong is dual type. Seedra. All right. Because it's a Seedra, everyone is level 50. My whole team is finally lined up. Brock is not a level ahead of everybody. It has been since episode 11. This is episode 36. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, this Seedra lasted a while. Oh, wow. He outsped me. Oh, look at that Dragon Pulse. That looks strong. It didn't come out very strong, though. Sorry. Sorry, my guy. So my justification for doing Seafoam Islands and Power Plant after we do the next two gems... The justification there is uh, the gems will be more difficult. The gems will be more difficult this way. I want the gems to be difficult. If the battles, if the battles that I'm having inside of the Seafoam Islands and all of that, if those are easier, okay. Uh, for a Tentacruel, I'm gonna go Jet. Because Jet hasn't been used much recently. Like, when I say recently, I mean, like, for me, real world in the last two days, which is about 16 episodes. <sighs> so I'm going to hit you with this, hit you with this doop a doop Glitzy Glow. Should I teach three of these moves? That doesn't do a whole lot. Right there, light screen major two... That's so strange. Why does it do that? And not only is it a strong psychic move, but it's also a light screen. But I was thinking about adding, once we pick up this Pokemon that we're going to get today, which we can't end until we get it. Uh, but once we add that, I'm gonna be able to get rid of the bubble one. Be able to get rid of the bubble one, the water type one, and I want to replace it with the ice type one. Should I also replace it with either a grass or a dark type one? Or maybe even the fairy one. I don't know. This isn't going to do... This literally is going to do nothing. Okay, it was still Hydro Pump. It was still Hydro Pump. I remember at the beginning of this series, we were switch training. We would throw Vulpix out and have to switch Vulpix out. Man. Rough life we had. 
I caught my Pokemon at sea. You don't say. That's that's surprising to hear. I Swimmer Jack. You have a tentacool. Do you have anything else? I am actually going to click. I don't know if I've used Outrage yet, but I think it's two turns and then you get confused. Or is it, oh, Golda. I'm gonna stay in. Let's see what, let's see what, what we can do here. Hit that Outrage, hit the, hit that Outrage. Hit the Outrage, hit him, hit him in the face, hit him in the face, okay. That did not do as much as I want. Oh! Well, I'm not confused. Well, he's dead. I was thinking that. It's either two or three turns. I think it just it's an RNG thing. So now we're confused. Tentacruel. I'm going to go back to Jet, and we're going to finish this up with, with a Glitzy Glow, is what it's called. Glitzy Glow. Interesting name. Interesting name. No! Okay. Especially if he flinches. Did not flinch. Do I think this is going to kill him? No. Is there a chance? Yes. Likely? No. Called it. Yeah, you better not get hit with that. We don't play those games. All right, I'm just going to use it again. And why are there 15 of them? Well, for this move, I guess I understand. Because this doesn't appear like too much of a hard-hitting move. It's just the light screen part that's crazy. Wait, you, got, you, got, you got a little something. You got a little something. Am I there? Am I there yet? Close am I? One, two, three trainers. Well, it looks like I've made it here. I already like Cinnabar a lot. <laughs> already like Cinnabar a lot. We're going right back out. Hold your horses. There's three trainers left. No, okay. I'm gonna take three. I'm gonna do three trainers left with our current team. I was about to. I was about to like. I was about to switch it up now, but promised Brit. Promised Brit that we would give him until the end of this episode. All right, there are three trainers left. There's that one there, and I think there's another swimming up here. And then there's this guy over standing over here. I think we took on this person already. It feels like it'd be really, really easy to get a water encounter shiny. I don't know why. I don't know why. It, it just particularly feels like it would be really easy to get a shiny water. Or maybe just getting shinies is really easy. I don't know. I see, I want to know how many other people got a shiny during their playthrough without shiny hunting. Is there another live shiny like mine? Had? I don't know. I don't know. I'm staying in because I think Brit actually might wind up going to level 51 off of one well in the next battle or two and if he winds up getting to 51 before anybody else oh really you feeling confident huh you feeling mighty confident? 
You gonna live this? You're probably gonna live this. No! Nice try. Brit saw you bulk up and Brit said, alright, I'm gonna hit you hard. I'm gonna hit you where it counts. I could put on my sailor suit, but I'm currently wearing an Umbreon suit and I'm kind of happy with life. Do we battle this person? Oh. Wait, does that mean there are four people left? With probably two or three Pokemon each? Please don't have more than two or three. That would be tragic. Alright, you don't have Psychic. You don't have Psychic. If Nine Tails can't get Psychic, that's not fair. Because this thing is a Psychic type. But I'm gonna go for it. Oh. It's Brit's last day and Brit is showing out. Brit is the first one to level 51. That's a cra- that's crazy. I've- I've used a Beedrill in an LP. A Beedrill. Oh. Well, Brock got to for- but does that count? I mean, our series is called Let's Go Onyx. I don't think that counts. I don't think that counts. I'm gonna blow this thing away real quick. Shaw! You're gone. You know what I'm gonna do to figure out Eevee's typings? Actually, you know what? I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to like a team raider and put in the types that our team has. And then I'm gonna let it tell me what our big what our biggest weaknesses are. I'm gonna pick two of them. I'm going to pick two of them, and I'm going to have those moves taught. And I know one of them will be Dragon, that we don't have a two times effective on. Ooh, okay. Alright, here's your true test, Brit. Uh, we know you're strong. We've seen that you're strong since you really, since you joined the team. Okay? But how strong are you? This guy is one Pokemon. Ooh, okay. You're still strong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't get lost in this surf, though. Don't get lost. All right. That, I mean, you felt that one. I know you did. I know you felt that one. I can't believe I've used a B drill. If you would have told me before this game started that I would be using a B drill, I don't know about all that. I think there's one more trainer off to the left here. Wait, or is that them up there? Is them up here? We got you. Oh, Jukes! I got Jukes! Oh, I think that's it. We're here. We're here! We're here! I am going straight to where we need to go. This looks so nice. Let me see what it's all about. We study Pokemon here day in and day out. People even bring us rare Pokemon to examine. Come to look at our lab, most impressive I like to see the country. Okay, 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 okay. The sofa is very soft and comfortable. You are a useless NPC. I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare Pokemon. Okay, you're a little less useless. This is a reception room. It's a room where we wait and talk with our guests. When we don't have guests, it's a place for scientists to slack off. You are useless. I like the Aerodactyl poster. And all the fossils. And all the stones. Is that a Dragon Ball? What is this? That's probably just Mount Moon. I would imagine that's probably Mount Moon. Hey, no running in the hallways. Boy, I've always wanted the chance to say something like that. As a teacher, I don't know. I don't even. I don't yell when I say no running in the hallways. I just look at someone. I'm like, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. Looks like a washing machine. It's not though. Is it a fossil restoration machine? 
Ah, oh, I'm so busy. Never moments to breathe. Certainly no time talking to children. Well, I'm an adult, so you turn around and speak to me like I'm a human being. Come on, come at me. I'm a scientist who's been working without sleep or rest. You think you don't you stand a chance? Sorry to taunt you like that all of a sudden. I haven't slept in days. Here, I'll give you this. You think you can forgive me? You know, some of these... Force your opponents to use only moves that cause damage. Sure thing. Okay, there's more. That's right, Eevee has the potential to evolve into a variety of different ways. Doesn't look like Eevee has any interest in evolving, though. Nope, my Eevee is fine, just the way it is. Oh, what have I done? I accidentally wrote, wrote on the board with permanent marker. Maybe I could turn it the other way and no one would ever know? All right, I think it's finally time to get to our room. The room that we're going to. Experimental lab. <gasps> wait, wait, is this the room? Is this the room? Is this what I need? My eyes get so tired when I look at a computer for too long. Resting your eyes is really important, you know. Shout out to Pokemon, trying to keep us healthy. Maybe when I become a fossil, they'll revive me in the distant future. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very well known indeed. Here I studied rare Pokemon fossils. Hey, do you have a fossil for me? Dome fossil! It is a fossil of Kabuto, a Pokemon that is already extinct. Shall I use my resurrection and take me? Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Success! The fossil was a Kabuto as I thought. What level? A Pokemon that was recovered from a fossil. It used the eyes on the back of its on, on its back while hiding on the sea floor. Well then, come back soon. I will, in fact. As a, all matter is made up of tiny molecules, molecules, like how one hundred dollars is made up of one dollars. All right, let me check. I'm scared. He's gonna wind up being like modest nature, and I'm gonna cry. Level 44? Wow. Quiet nature? Lower special attack. No, lower speed raises special attack. I hate it, but that's okay. Now, um, what moves do I need him to have? Because he is. Well, here, actually. With the timing of the episode, this is all you need to know. Add to party. Brit, it has been so much fun. I am so sad that we just did that. But it had to happen. Brit, you're fantastic. I never thought I would like a Beedrill ever in my life. But you did the darn thing, as the kids would say. We're going to wrap up the episode right there on Brit's screen. If you enjoyed today's episode, if you want to show your respects to Brit, hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you, Brit, and thank you all for checking out our video. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, which will probably have an evolved Pokemon with all the right moves ready to go. But until then, have a blessed day.